Uh, you join us on day two. Uh, what an insane day yesterday. Um, came up on a, a stag in the gut. Uh, managed to get the drop on him, put a, put a shot on him. Uh, wasn't able to locate him uh, as the dark came in pretty quick. But um, in, in locating that one, we happened upon another one and Steve managed to get an arrow off and get a good solid hit on that guy. Uh, we'll take their marks uh, where both animals were hit and um, we'll be going and hunting our way up to them and hunting along as we try to locate them. So that's today's mission. Um, yeah, fingers crossed there's some deer on the ground. Uh, it'll be my first seeker stag, uh, Steve's first seeker ever. And um, first Dockland bow shot animal I think. So amazing first day. Some good laughs with the boys in the hut last night. Uh, beautiful weather today, nice clean and clear. Pretty a bit chilly, a bit chilly. Uh, was snowing a bit a bit higher up in the altitude and um, yeah, fingers crossed we got some Vinny on the ground. So we're on the trail of um, Steve has shot deer. You can see good stag print there. Sort of moseys up there. Sidles along to where um, Steve arrowed it. Yeah, so where Steve arrowed it. He was, he was facing that way. Head down. Then he turned and came this way. He was footprint there. So yeah, we we're unable to find mine unfortunately. Facing that way, it was on this side, the turn, the biggest hole. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to locate my one, which is pretty gutting for me because it's my first stag, but I uh, seek a stag, but it's hunting, isn't it? And um, can I try give 110% for the rest of the week and try again and again and again? Seeker, I know, easy quarry. I think if they were, I'm not sure I'd be interested. Some beautiful country in here, though. So now, just got to quietly make our way through, looking for signs of blood. Stay tuned for now. Funny. 
So uh, we're back at the hut now, working on dinner and um, sharing stories for the day. So Dan managed to locate a couple of stags, uh, bumped a spiker and a hind, wasn't able to get a, a good clean ethical shot off so he held off and um, admirable trait mate, admirable trait because um, ethics are what you do when no one's watching and if you um, if you can't keep your head up high after you've taken an animal or taken a, a shot then why take it so anyway uh, we got back today from today's mission unable to un uh, locate either stag um, you get that on the big jobs that's hunting in that uh, Steve and Jay and I uh, had a good day as we said earlier unable to locate any stags we got pretty close to a few animals nothing on the ground so a fairly quiet day as and um, what you can hear in the background is young Dan serenading Jay the chef. So it's a lamb chop casserole tonight and um, looking forward to it. Tell you what, big days on the hill make a big hunger. But um, yeah, another awesome day family. Well guys, he joined me at the end of Monday. Day four. So um, nothing on the ground. I made my way up to uh, Ken's, Ken's Creek headwaters as I sort of planned. It's a um, very promising country up there, but I thought I'd better make my way home, being that I'm by myself today. Uh, make my way home, because I didn't know a way. I hadn't descended from that area before, so I wanted to give myself plenty of time to get home and um, not be cruising through the bush on my own. It would be less than ideal. And, um, yeah, so I found a pretty safe way down. And I didn't manage to cock up those stags. So, with any luck, I'll grab one of the boys, head back up there tomorrow. Hopefully, the one's playing ball. There's a huge amount of fresh animal sign there. Um, Hines and stags. So I definitely think uh, I should focus the majority of my efforts in that area there because it seems like the most fruitful area of the bunch. I've got one other area I wanted to look in on so depending on what the wind's doing and the weather's doing tomorrow I may head there tomorrow just to give it a check out um, but if the wind's on my side oh, I'll definitely be coming back up to the headwaters of Kings Creek. Um, that's the first solid calling I've heard on the whole trip and um, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon no less so I gave a few of my own and they both, well two or maybe three of them replied so that's definitely the kind of territory we're looking for um, other than trying to be a ninja and stalk in on them I mean I've almost had a bit of luck with that approach but um, I feel like the effort will be rewarded if I can drag one of the boys up there with me. Um, but yeah, another great day on the hill, awesome fun, beautiful country as you would have seen. And um, yeah, beats being at work, beats sitting on the couch. Kia fun, mate. Today, you join Dan and myself as we're out on an afternoon mission to try and make moves on the stag Dan found yesterday called to but didn't speak and um, the plan is for me to sit back calling while Dan hones in on him so fingers crossed we get into a good one
a stunning country we live in, Fano. Nice little water hole here, just in time to fill up my water bottle. Bit of a dodgy climb down, but we knocked the bugger off. Well funny, that was the end of the last hunt for the trip. Ended on a bit of a high note and a low note if you're, if you're familiar with seeker hunting you probably know what I mean. Uh, managed to get into about 30-40 metres from a stag. Um, Rawdham had him replying, he was thrashing bushes in front of me. Um, had the gun lined up, just couldn't see a clear shot of his body, could only see the antler thrashing the bushes. And um, as I've said earlier, ethics are what you do when no one's watching, so um, held off, hoping that a, a better shot would present itself. Uh, then the wind, the wind changed on me as, as, as it does, and um, he winded me. He wasn't too sure what I was, um, so he retreated a little bit. I stalked in a little bit, and he must have got my wind and then barked all hell as he left. So progression I keep talking about progression um, I'm seeing more animals more frequently getting closer than ever before so that first seeker is no doubt coming if it was easy everyone would do it and um, I've got to say I'm hooked on the challenge it's um bloody hard they're like ghosts and ninjas depending on how you want to look at it but I wouldn't have it any other way um, I can only imagine the reward is going to be huge and it's going to feel great when I finally get that first one on the deck. Anyway, um, thank you for joining me on another hunt. Um, got a red deer hunt lined up soon so that'll be an episode coming up and um, yeah hope you enjoy the footage and the adventure we've shared together. Uh, we've got a 9.30am uh, pickup tomorrow 
and with the helicopter. So um, yeah, I'll catch it in here, a blue duck down here. So we're just going to go down and see if we can get some footage for you of this feel. Oh, beautiful blue duck. There's been massive efforts to restore numbers to their um, population. And you can hear them now. It's a breeding pair. Now these guys breed for life. What a treat farming. Unfortunately these guys are pretty rare. But efforts are being made successfully by guys like Trapman Sam and the Fear Restoration Project to restore their numbers to a healthy level. Now these guys mate for life as I said earlier. So um, the predators like Stokes, etc. will feel cats and most of a massive impact on their numbers. Uh, much to the detriment of uh, attacking the young and the like. The field restoration project is uh, basically a trapping and monitoring program, and um, they've been helping these guys get back to where they should be healthy numbers in a manageable population. Real treat to catch them both here. I've been hearing them a lot lately, just never in the right place at the right time to catch them. Legit made my day. Legit made my day. So the hut's all clean and tidy and um, ready for the next guys who come in. All nice and tidy. And um, the firewood is done for the next bunch. Yeah, happy times. So we just had an, in, uh, an update from Seeker on our inReach and um, due to foggy conditions at the Helipad, um, we've got a delayed pickup. Um, they're going to head out here as soon as weather will allow, and um, if they're not here by 4:30, we're in for another night. But you get that on the big jobbies. So as you can see behind me, the um, fog up there is lifting. So fingers crossed we get picked up because the call of McDonald's is fairly strong. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Looking forward to pick up and heading home to see the Farnucks and yeah, keep you posted.